Happy Thursday, everyone. It's going to be a good day today. We're going to bust out the broomstick and or the PVC, depending on what you have with it. So today what we have for you guys is a nice chunk of Oli skill work, kind of break in, slow things down after yesterday's madness. Um, and we're going to work on some position work with the PVC, work on some overhead skill, and uh, then throw down a nice little quick gasser at the end to kind of tie up everything we practiced today with the different modalities. So let's talk about the work set today. Playing the down dog, three to five reps, arch up for 10, into an arch hold for 10 seconds, PVC prone raise, three to 10 seconds, and two rounds of that. So it's just get heated up, work on the shoulders, work on that midsection a little bit, and get fired up for the workout. After that, we're gonna go through some position work and pressing snatch balance work uh, with the PVC, and I'll guide you through all that stuff, uh, talking about each position. We're gonna hit that one time through, and then we're gonna take down our burger warm up one to two rounds if you'd like to tackle it twice. I, it's gonna be fun, it'll be a gasser. If you just wanna do it once, I totally understand. Tons of skill in here, so take your time working through this and work for skill and movement. From there, we're gonna go through a three position snatch for three rounds, um, just with the PVC, working on some snatch form work, uh, working on getting our depth and range of motion in that overhead squat. And then we're gonna start warming up a dumbbell. So we're gonna put the PVC slash broomstick away. We're gonna do a dumbbell deadlift for three aside, dumbbell hang power snatch for six alternating, and then a dumbbell overhead hold for 10 to 30 seconds at two rounds for three rounds to get you fired up. And then the workout, the gassing part of the workout is gonna be 100 dumbbell snatches or 80 dumbbell snatches for time. All right, so working through that work set, it's gonna be a good time, it's gonna be a gasser, total count of 100 total count of 80, done, all right? So let's warm you up, let's work on some skill today, build that snatch movement, and have a good time on a Thursday. All right, you guys, let's get it moving around a little bit today. Let's take the arms up overhead, let's sort of shrug them up, we'll pull them back down, we're gonna scratch our back and reach through the elbow, we'll come back up, big stretch, we're gonna scratch the other side, big reach through the elbow, come back up, big stretch, little shrug, come down with the shoulders, hands out to the T, we'll turn them in, turn them out, turn them in, turn them out, and turn them in, and out, take a big stretch, go to forward fold, we're going to touch those toes, walk up the shins, nice flat back, we'll come down, find the hands, and then we're going to roll ourselves up, big tall stretch, good little shrug, come back down with the hands, Come down to the hips, I step our feet apart, turn one toe, turn the other toe on the angle, hand to the thigh, big reach up. We'll pull the hip back, taking it down. Stand tall, big stretch overhead. We'll take it down. Stand tall, and take it down. And stand tall, turn the toe, big high five. Turn it over to the other side, set those feet, pull that hip back. Waking up that body position, waking up those hamstrings a bit. We'll pull the hips back a bit more again. Take it down, stand tall, and one more time, we'll take it down, and stand tall. Turn those toes, big high five. From here, scratch your back to both sides. We're gonna reach an elbow up, come down, reach the other elbow. Down, reach, down, reach, down, reach. One more time and reach. Good, big stretch. We'll reach over to one side, other side, oh, excuse me, come back down. Let's get you guys fired up. So if you'd like to do a little bit more lizard lunging, some rotation work, please be my guest. Get that stuff fired up. Um, we're gonna move into the first phase of our warm up. get you guys fired up a little bit gymnastics, and then we're gonna start moving into the PVC part. So our first exercise today is our plank to down dog. So I'm gonna get myself set up in my plank. My feet will be together, my shoulders under over top of my hands. I'm gonna pull my ribs and hips, press through those shoulders, maintaining that good active shoulder position. I'm gonna pull my hips back, taking it back into that nice high hip position, armpits pointing towards the toes, and then coming back into my plank. Pulling the ribs and hips, pressing through the shoulders, and again pulling back into that nice down dog, and then coming back through into the plank. Again, working through that nice active shoulder position. So we really stretch out those lats and fire them up today because we're gonna need them to stabilize that PVC and dumbbell overhead. 
After that, we're going to lay on the floor for a little while. We're going to get ourselves laying out nice and stretched. We are going to work on an arch up for 10 reps. So I can do one of two things. I can work on inhale, reaching both hands and feet up and down for a nice smooth 10 rep scheme. Or I can work on alternating back and forth, side to side for a total count of 10. From there, right after my 10th rep, I'm going to move into a nice arch hold. So I'm going to hold for 10 seconds in that extended position. Either both hands right, or alternating sides. Working on five seconds on one side, five seconds on the other side. I want you to think about stretching long in that arch hold and those arch ups. So again, starting dynamic, finishing with a static hold. Afterwards, we move into that PVC prone raise or empty handed prone raise. So we get into the stomach. We work on the opposite of the arch. We're gonna get into our hollow. So we pull our ribs and hips together, actively press down with the armpits and the hands. I maintain that tension, I lift the hands up, hold for 10 seconds, waking up those shoulders, and then lowering the hands down, disengaging if I'd like to, re-engage, or I can maintain that tension and do multiple reps in a row. Depends on where you're at in terms of that engagement or ability to maintain the hollow. That is our primary focus, maintaining the tension as we work on lifting up the arm. So take your time with that, work on waking things up. As a quick recap, we have a plank to down dog for three to five, arch up for 10, arch hold for 10 seconds, and then PVC prone raise three to 10 seconds. Two rounds, if you'd like to do it for three, you're more than welcome to do it for three. We got plenty more warm up to come. So from there, we're gonna grab our PVC, a broomstick, hockey stick, whatever we got that we can use as a barbell, all right? And we're gonna work on some position work uh, through the snatch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands nice and wide, all right? Our bar is going to be roughly sitting at our hip crease. So if I hinge, it sits in the hip crease with my arms nice and straight. This is a nice drill that we're gonna play with. Uh, I'm gonna turn to the side for one rep and then turn to the face in the front for the second. We're gonna go through three positions on the way down to the floor. We're gonna take our hips back and the bar to our mid thigh. So just a little hinge. My shoulders are just in front of the bar and my weight through my midfoot is there. I turn my palms over, palms facing forward. So I open up my biceps and I engage my lats. I'll hold that for a couple seconds, retake hold of the bar. I'll take it down to launch, so just above the knee. My shoulders again are just in front of the hands and my knees are just, up, or sorry, my bar is just above the knee. Palms face forward again. I'm gonna pin that bar back with the back of my hand holding this position for a couple seconds, just to stretch out the biceps, the triceps, just that open chest position. Now from here, I'm gonna drop down below the knee, so my hips and shoulders come down together. I'm gonna turn those palms over, so I pin the bar back to the back of my hand, stretching out those, that upper body, and feeling that weight through my midfoot. Take hold of the bar. I'm gonna stand the bar all the way up to my mid thigh. Then I'm going to pull the bar up overhead, nice muscle snatch, bring the bar to my shoulders, I'm going to step my feet apart a little bit, standing tall, and then I'm going to slowly press myself down below that bar. So the bar is going to try and stay exactly where it is, I'm going to press myself down into my overhead squat, whatever range I can get to and maintain good position, that's where I'm going to take it, stand with the bar overhead. Bring my feet back under and come back to that hot hand. So I'm gonna do another one facing forward so you can see. So I take the bar to mid thigh. I turn the palms facing forward. Hold for a couple seconds, turn them back over. Take the bar to launch, which is just above the knee. Turn them back over so the palms face forward, come back. Everything drops together, so below the knee. My palms face forward, get nice and solid. Palms come back around. I'm gonna stand the bar up to mid thigh. I'm gonna push through those legs, muscle snatch the bar overhead. Come back down behind the neck. Step my feet to my squat stance and do a pressing snatch balance. So I'm gonna get tight, solid, and press myself down underneath of the bar. Nice and active overhead. Stand with it overhead. Feet come back under and bar comes back. 
So that's our positional work to pressing snatch balance. So we go through each position, working on opening up the bicep and the chest, and then work on that pressing snatch balance to slowly wake up our legs. Pause the video, take that down a couple times if you'd like to work on those positions. Again, it's all about feeling your feet, feeling your footwork, and making sure our positional strength is there. We're gonna go through the burger warm up for a round, take you through that, and then turn you loose on some three position snatches. So I'm gonna take my bar again, get my wide grip, my feet are underneath of my hips, I'm gonna work on what's called a down and finish. So I'm gonna get a two second dip, staying vertical, just like a push press. I'm going to drive up into that nice tall finish and come back down. At speed, it looks like this. Down, up, and come back down. Down, up, and come back down. And down, up, and back down. The next exercise is a down high pull, so high and outside. So I come down and high pull, keeping the elbows high and back. Down, high pull, down, high pull. And now I continue with that down, tall finish, high pull into my muscle snatch. So there's a nice turnover, no re-bending of the knees. So I come down, up, right overhead, come back down, keeping the bar close to my body. Down, up, come back down. And down, up, and then I'm gonna keep the bar overhead and I'm gonna pull myself down into my power position. So I'm gonna come down to a little power squat. I'll stand with it overhead. I'll come down a little deeper, stand tall, and then I'll come down a little deeper. So all three are power positions, so I'm landing above the knee. Then I'm gonna work with the arms overhead into my drops. I'll pull down to a full squat or the deepest squat that you have. Pressing into the bar, down, stand tall, coming back up, and down. Stand up nice and tall. The next exercise, we come down behind the neck, and we work through a snatch push press. So exactly like a normal push press, except we have a wide grip. I dip, press overhead, come back down. Get set, dip, press overhead, back down, and then I dip, press overhead, keep it there. I step my feet apart into my squat stance, and I work a nice, smooth overhead squat to the range that I can maintain good position overhead and good squat mechanics. Very important. Once I've done my three overhead squats, I bring the bar back to the shoulders. My feet stay in my squat stance. What I'm gonna do now is get that nice dip we've been practicing. I'm gonna push, come down, to drive up and then I'm gonna push myself under the bar silently but quickly so at speed it looks like this down up stand tall I come down set down up stand set and go down up stand set my feet come back to the back of the rack and I get ready to do my snatch drops so from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my bar, get set through my upper back, I'm going to push down underneath the bar, nice and quick. There's no down up, there's no momentum, it's just drive down. Stand tall in a good overhead squat, receive, last rep, drive down. Stand, feet come back back. I bring the bar back down, I get set. From here, I work through my snatch balance, so I bring it all together. I get my down, I get my up, and then I find my feet as I press down into that overhead squat. Bring my feet back together, come back down. Get set, down, up, stand tall, feet come under, receive. I bring down, up, stand, feet come under, bar comes down, and then I come down, up, stand tall, Feet come under, bar comes to the hang. Catch your breath, because the burner is always a little tiring, and continue on. That was excellent. Burger warm up was a great warm up, builds a lot of skill, builds a lot of speed in our lifts, and it also helps work on a lot of flexibility necessary for the snatch and the clean and jerk, all in one warm up, and it'll get you ready for almost anything you'll ever do in any workout. 
So pause the video, take that down a couple rounds, work through it, rewind the video if you need to, follow along. You're gonna hit three reps of every exercise. After that, we're gonna move into our three position snatch. So our three position snatch is gonna be from three positions, the high hang, from launch, and below the knee. So we're gonna execute either a power or a full squat snatch from each of these positions. I'm gonna do a full squat snatch, but if you'd like to do a power, you're more than welcome to. Standing tall, my high hang snatch, I get that nice vertical dip, and then drive and snatch. Stand tall, feet come back under, bar comes down. I'll take it back to launch, working on feeling my midfoot, working on keeping my shoulder just in front of the bar. I'm gonna stand the bar up to mid thigh, and snatch. Come back up, and I'll do the same thing, except I'll go from below the knee. So I'll take it to my knee, Shoulders and hips drop together. I get set, tight, stand it up to mid thigh, drive to those legs, pull myself under, and stand tall with the bar overhead. Three position snatch. You'll do one rep from each, rest of it, one rep from each, rest of it, anywhere from three to five rounds just to practice the skill and movement of the snatch. From there, we're going to abandon the PVC or groove stick. We're going to move into our dumbbell stuff and get you prepped for the actual work step. So play with all that snatch work, that PVC work, play with a couple extra rounds, take your time, it'll heat those shoulders up, get those bodies ready. Now pause the video, take it down, have fun with it. We're gonna move into some dumbbell and get you ready for the work step. So the PVC pipe's gonna go, I'm gonna bring my dumbbell into effect. The dumbbell is gonna go right between my feet and I'm gonna work through three sumo deadlifts with a single hand with my dumbbell. So working on that good range of motion, stretching out my position, taking the dumbbell as deep as I can maintain good position as I work through three reps per side. Treating it more like a snatch. So I'm gonna try and keep my chest up and my hips a little lower as if I was going to do a dumbbell snatch. Once I've done three per side, I am going to alternate six reps in a hang power snatch. So I'm gonna take the dumbbell to the knee. I'm gonna drive through my legs, pull underneath the dumbbell, come back down, switch sides, take it to the knee and that good hinge, keeping the dumbbell close the entire time and working through that good leg drive that we practiced and that good dumbbell path that we practiced with the PVC pipe. Working through that movement. After my last rep, I will hold overhead for a total of 10 to 20 seconds per side in that good overhead position to generate some good heat, working on keeping that rib in, keeping the glutes tight and that arm in that overhead position. And we'll repeat that, building our weight up to our working weight or getting comfortable with the dumbbell snatch. Pause the video, take that down two to three rounds just to kind of feel it out. We should be really good and warm by now since we've done a lot of that broomstick work, some dumbbell stuff, and then we're gonna move into our workout, which is just the dumbbell snatch. So you're gonna work on 100 reps total count or 80 reps total count per time and quality. So in the workout, you're gonna take the dumbbell from the floor, that full range dumbbell snatch, or to a range that's comfortable and maintain that good back position. So if you can't quite get to the floor, that's okay. Take it to where you can, maintaining that good deadlift back so you can maintain good position the entire time you do these snatches. Focus on proper technique on the way up and proper technique on the way down. We really have to focus on that back position as we take the dumbbell back to the floor, even if we're gonna put the dumbbell down and rest a little. So take that time to focus on that good technique on the way down, as well as that good stand up and drive through the legs. It'll save you a lot of tension the next day in those hamstrings and that mid back, as long as we can focus on that good, strong position. If you feel a couple off reps, take a moment, breathe it out, break it down bite-sized chunks, take them down for quality, take them down for speed, have some fun, and enjoy this one, you guys. 
Have fun with all the skill work, you guys. Take your time with it. If you have questions about any of it that you do today, shoot me a message. Let me know about the lifting stuff. And uh, like I say, work for quality, have fun, and enjoy your day, everyone. Talk to you.